difference. And we have people who have spoken up in the past as well. There have been voices that, uh, in fact, are listened to and heard. Mr. Firoz Bakht Ahmed, Educationist, the Chancellor, Mulana Azad, the National Urdu University, joins us on the program. Yana Meer, Editor in Chief of ITV, the Real Kashmir News, is also joining us on the program. Major Mohammad Ali Shah, Empowered Media Panelist, a regular on NewsX, is also joining us on the program. Last but by no means the least, uh, Lubna Kamal, uh, Empowered Media Panelist, is also joining us on the show. Ali, let me start by asking you a simple question. What do you make of what's happening in the country today? Uh, the Jumma Namaz was obviously turned into a pandemonium in a number of cities, number of towns in the country. The police has been uh, working very hard. They have been at play to make sure that nothing untoward happens, but it still did. We don't want any escalation from here. We need people like you. We need people uh, like the other panelists on this debate to talk some sense and make sure that you know the Constitution is supreme and everything uh, guaranteed under the Constitution will make sure that justice will prevail and to some extent justice has already been done. Dupur Sharma has been suspended from the party. There are legal cases against her. Uh, what more can be expected from the ruling government at this point in time? Firstly, I would like to appeal to uh, all the people protesting through your channel. I would like to appeal to them. Please do not make the protest violent. Please do not indulge in arson. Please do not go indulge into criminal activities because please don't damage things, don't damage property because that what will happen is it's going to be you, the people who are protesting, the people who are indulging in arson, the people who are... See, I understand the fact that protesting is our democratic and a fundamental right as per the Constitution of India as long as the peaceful is protest, as, as long as the peaceful, as the protest is peaceful. It doesn't turn violent. But here it is really disheartening to see the mobs going violent, going on a rampage, rioting, it is really disheartening. This is not something which is expected out of civilized community, out of a civilized uh, countrymen. No, please maintain calm, peace and let legal action, let law take its own course. And I am sure the law in our country is effective enough to handle situations like this. It takes its time. They have the procedures. Let there is a methodology to be followed. I understand the fact that the, the emotions of the of millions of people of the minority community are hurt across the world. Why not India? Across the world. I understand that fact. But then there is a methodology. There is a procedure which is being followed. Let's stick to that. Let us not become violent. Because if that happens, you cannot go against a force. Hmm. Why would anyone want to? Because it will be self-inflicted completely. And then we will weaken the case. People who are becoming violent, they will weaken the case further. It is mm. not going to be a strong case at all. Mm. If you feel strongly about it, then go ahead. Report right. It. Uh, let me begin uh, congratulating two of my co-panelists, that is uh, Major Shah and Yana Mir. Uh, being young Muslims and being practicing Muslims, I believe, whatever they have said is bang on target. Ali? Uh, but this is something that needs to be stopped. This is something that needs to be curtailed. This is something that needs a message. What is that message supposed to be right now? Message to uh, not naming any channel, but the media channel, be it even social media, to please behave responsibly. The video you were talking about, about the person who looks like a Muslim just because he had a beard and a cap and he was talking and making fun of shivling. I ridicule, I ridicule him. I fail to, I do not acknowledge him as a Muslim. A Muslim would never do that. He does not practice the Muslim religion. And the channel very, very conveniently, they have muted the other person. The Hindu scholar, they have muted him. And they are allowing the other person with the beard and the cap to speak rubbish. Ali, hear me out. Are you, are you trying to say that under the garb of TRP, certain channels have actually blurred the lines which have been observed for so long when it comes to, you know, respecting other religions? I am saying that 100% and I am saying it loud and clear. Well, we don't do that here. We don't do that in You, you don't do that. Thank God. Thank God. And that is the reason, Breed, and I only, whenever any of your guest coordinators call me, be it day or night, news X, I am on. However busy I am, I make time. I am sure. But for other channels, their guest coordinators would be hearing right now. I, even However, I am free. Even if I would have time, I always make up an excuse where I know for a fact what the agenda is going to be driven at. Please, you as a journalist, I've never heard you shout and scream. I have, I totally hold responsible 
the anchor who was in charge when the Pur Sharma debate was going on, who was laughing at that. There is no action against her. Rather, the chance to go on a tweet saying we are not responsible. How are they not responsible for it? Of course they are responsible. It happened on her channel. On their channel. Hmm. The anchor was, you have the option of muting a participant as for your convenience, not your channel. In general, I'm talking about. Uh, but they have the option. But here they are muted. The, on other channels, they muted the Hindu scholar. They are allowing the person who looked like a Muslim and refused to cross him as a Muslim because a Muslim would never do that. Okay, with a beard and a cap to talk rubbish and get away with it? How can you make fun of Hindu gods and think you can get away with it or, or Muslim god for that matter? Or Muslim. See, faith. Faith is something which is very personal. I've never seen God, but I believe in God. I am God fearing. That's why it's called as faith because I have faith in it. I have faith that there is a superior being above us. Now, whatever name you would like to give it, it's fine. It's a very, very personal matter. But the moment you come out publicly and you make fun of it, and yes, you are right, Vinik, it is channels who are, some channels, a few channels, not all, who are giving rise for their own personal TRP. They have sparked a debate, a row, and they have come in the limelight, the news, and they have got TRPs. They have made the money. They have come to the business for them. But where is responsible journalism gone? Where has responsible journalism gone? Where the moral duty is to make sure that the general public, the awam, the audience get to know the right news. Because media is a very big influencer. Right now, Vreet, a lot of people would be hearing us. And they should know that do not go anything that you can on hearsay. Hmm. And there are different interpretations of Islam. So now, Pakistan's interpretation would be different. The terrorist interpretation would be very similar to theirs. Our interpretation is very different to theirs. Our hmm. interpretation, our perception is very, very uh, uh, secular, uh, very, very logical, very, very scientific, uh, very, very uh, God-fearing, uh, very, very uh, giving rise to charity, brotherhood, love, affection, care, being a good person, being a good gentleman. Okay, but all right, okay. Why has the government allowed such kind of people like the one Ali mentioned? who came uh, on, a new, uh, on, on a portal or on social media or whatever, on the news channel and said such things. Including thoughts from Ali, go ahead. All right, Vinay. So I would like to appeal to the entire nation to please do wrong, do not make a right. If someone has done a wrong, yes, let us, I just, it is disheartening and I, it is disheartening to all of us to hear anything against our faith. But do not indulge in a further wrong because then things will go further out of hands and the way they are getting right now and things need to be curbed Things need to be brought into control and not go out of hands. And I appeal to all the media channels to please behave responsibly. Don't get after your TRP only. You will get your TRP if you do your work responsibly. You will get your TRP, you will get your due if you are sensible. People will want to see sensible journalism. They do not want to hear shouting and screaming matches. I've never seen people overlapping or shouting or screaming in your debates really, or news X. I've never seen that. And I'm not being Because we don't allow that. We don't allow that. You only get yes, what you allow. And, and people who are watching me, I'm sure they'll concur. They'll agree with me. Really? You have made a very positive, affirmative conclusion to this uh, uh, very important debate. Because